Hi, my name's Sydney Gregson from Saracens Women and you're watching The Women's Rugby Show. Hello, hello, hello and welcome back to The Women's Rugby Show. I'm Sam, by the way, and I'm here with another one of our season review videos. And today is a turn of Worcester Warriors women's hooker, Karis Phillips. If you haven't seen the other videos in this series, click here for the playlist to see our chats with DMP Durham Sharks, Sales Sharks and Bristol Bears women. And before we get into this video and speak to Karis, make sure you like this video on YouTube, subscribe to us on YouTube as well, and also check us out across all social medias. If you don't know that, let's get into the video. So first of all, Karis, thanks a lot for joining us. Um, first of all, how are you and how, how have you been doing in the last couple of days, or weeks? Oh, thanks for having me. Um, yeah, I've been good. Uh, see the season ended, so we've had a little bit of a break now, but um, unfortunately the weather's not as what it was. So um, yeah, it's quite nice to get away and just relax a little bit, I guess. So getting into kind of our, our year season review for Worcester, first of all, how do you feel the season went overall from a team point of view? Um, obviously, I think, you know, from previous years, like we finished seventh, which I know is like the bottom half of the, the table, but it's the highest that we've ever finished as a, as a club, uh, which is obviously a match for us. Um, it's the most tries we've ever scored, at least points we've ever conceded. So overall, from where we it's, it's, it's obviously fantastic but I think as a group and as a collective we feel like we could have could have um, got a lot more results probably out of this uh, um, so I think you know that's something that we need to clean up I guess going into now and is, is getting a home before and show after that and then we can get some some results and, and keep our way up the top, uh, the top half. And how do you feel the season went from a kind of more personal point of view in your performances? Um, a bit up and down, really. I had a few injuries, uh, which obviously, uh, I think I started the season quite well. Then I had an injury out for about eight weeks, I think it was. Um, came back and I had another injury and then kind of how my season ended, really. But um, the performance I'm really happy with. Um, I know I've worked hard with the uh, forwards coach, Mike, with, um, you know, hooker stuff and and scrums and stuff like that so I think personally yeah I'm quite pleased actually with with how I went this year even though it was hindered a little bit. Yeah, you mentioned about kind of like kind of pushing on that next level Um we watched we were at six or a few times watching this season every time apart from the game against Bristol it was always so near yet so far do you think that's something that is just kind of getting over that winning line and then once that winning line's there you're going to push on really quickly? Yeah definitely I think you know, winning is a mentality and it's something that as a group that we need to to, to believe in ourselves. And if, we, if we do fall behind that we can win, I think there's been some time, definitely I think the last game was probably our tightest one where we, we just lost at the end, but I think that's where that belief comes in. But definitely that's something that we can work on into next season and clean it up on a full game performance, I suppose, and, and making sure that we come away with those results. So moving on to kind of some highlights of the season, obviously there was a, the two wins against Bristol. Would they rank as one of your games, some of the games of the season for you? You see, I... I in the first one, could nearly come back for the again. Really, you know, on the... On the, the I think as a club, probably our lives was, was, you know, getting a double win over, over Bristol, and I'm sure you know next year, next season would be another tight encounter against them as well. But I think uh, the game home for us, that first half was some fantastic rugby played by us, and and for me personally, to try the season there, if maybe for for every game. So yeah, it was, it was pretty class actually. And what kind of was your moment of the season, kind of for you and for the team? Would it would have been one of those Bristol games? Oh, definitely, and those definitely a big thing for us. And I think just well, yeah, um, that we highlight as, as well. To be to be honest. And moving on to kind of some of the individual performances on the team, who would be up there for your kind of player of the season across the Worcester squad? 
Um, definitely for me is Jade, Jade Shackles, our centre. Um, she's been our player of the year in the end of season dinner as well. So um, she's played like attacking wise has been great, but also the some of the hits she's put in have been massive. I've like, been standing there like, oh glad I'm I'm glad I'm this side. Definitely Jade. Um was a massive, massive season for her and she she did she did really well and yeah, class for her really. And also who do you think obviously you mentioned Jade that who do you think also made another like, quite big impressions? It was quite quite a few it was quite a young size for a lot of the year. So was there any other um honourable mentions for player of the year? Um I think you can obviously, you know, we can obviously talk about Alex Matthews in the back row. She was really good for us and and you know Alex Callender's turned you know turned up that week in week out for us as well and I think there's some moments as well from you know Abby Kershaw's you know had some moments of brilliance as well so ac across like the field really has, has been some some uh, big performances but I I got like Jay's definitely the, the standout for me but um, yeah probably the battle of the back row was is you know that was probably tight there so I I, I couldn't call that one right now. Yeah, I think when uh, quite a few times when we've been at six ways, the back row has been one of the things that we start stands out for Worcester. So it's definitely yeah, really yeah, been yeah. really impressive for us. And yeah, kind of yeah. what was your toughest game this season? Obviously, there's some big battles against some of those top teams who are in the playoffs. But which one of them would you say was the toughest for you? Um, I feel like left, um, not left, but Wasps away was tough. Um they just kept coming at us, powerful, powerful squad. And obviously it shows they are top four. So, you know, but I think, I don't know, we just, they, we just, they just bullied us, I guess, in that game. And it was really tough to get into it and tough to, to fight back into that game. And they just took it at the end. But yeah, definitely there more. What was tough, but also close and enjoyable was our first game of the season, which was Saracens away. Um, obviously we were winning up until about seven minutes to go, I think. Um, but it's always tough against Saracens, you know, they, 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 they're champions for a reason and, and it's, yeah, shows, but um, yeah, that was a really enjoyable one, but, but that was tough as well. And what, have you, what are your aspirations for next season, both personally and your aspirations for how you want Worcester to be playing next season? Uh, personally, I think I want to see them not getting injured, for one, but um, I think just pushing on from where um, I left uh, this season, um, being really consistent in, in, in my set piece, um, getting my hand on the ball a lot more and, and being more um, dynamic, I guess, in my gameplay. So hopefully that's something I can can work on now through this pre-season that's coming up. And then as a team, just uh, that consistency in our performances, um, getting a full 80 in and, and actually believing that we can win and that we can creep up the table higher than where we are. And I, I honestly believe that that's something that we, we are capable of doing as a squad. And um, as a as a coaching squad as well, so we've got the the package. We just need to you know push on from from where we left it. From a coaching point of view, how important is Joe Yap and her kind of vision and coaching ability to your side? Yeah, she's. I think she's massive for us. The um, the things that she like, obviously the stuff that she does behind the scenes with the rest of the the coaching staff is, you know, they they do everything they can and they work endlessly to to make us the best squad and and the most professional that we can be. And I think, yeah, definitely like the changes that, that have been made from I guess last season and the season before since Joe's been in, uh, just been phenomenal. And I think, um, you know, we can't speak highly enough of her as. as as a squad really and yeah we we obviously really appreciate the, the work she puts in but obviously the knowledge that she has as a being being a Worcester Warriors player herself and uh you know obviously Captain England and stuff the the respect that we have for her is massive and I think that shows you know when when we get disappointed as a, as a squad we're not only disappointed for it with ourselves but you know we're disappointed that we couldn't do it for Joe as well so um yeah she's huge and you know we we you know, grateful that we've we've managed to get a, a Worcester. And looking ahead to next season, who would be a player you would want the women's rugby world to watch out for from Worcester Warriors? Ooh, there's a few, I guess. Um, I feel like Alice Carlin can push on again, and and still be, she can be world class. Um, 
I think we've got, you know, Vicky Laughlin on the wing. We've got um, Katie Matt and nine. And then, so it's, it's tough. We've got a lot. So, and then we could say, hopefully we can get, you know, Katie back from injury and she can push on and get back into that England squad where she, she probably belongs. And so, yeah, there's a few of them that I feel like we can watch out for, but probably around the, the back row again and the Alex mm-hmm. and stuff. So, yeah. Yeah. And finally, before I let you go on and get on with the rest of your day, what would be your three word season review for this season? Ooh, separate words. You, you can be separate, but they can lead into the mixed, mixed together. Um, enjoyable was one, definitely. Um, I feel like you can't go, go the, the season without saying COVID 19. And uh, I don't know, relentless probably. Perfect. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so thanks a lot for joining me. It really enjoyable to chat to you. Congratulations Cheers. on the season, having the highest finish Worcester has ever had, and good luck for next season as well. And enjoy your summer, and hopefully there's crowds back in next time you're at Six Ways playing. Yeah, definitely. Thank you very much for having me. Hi, my name is Gabby Cantorna from the Exeter Chiefs, and you've just been watching the Women's Rugby Show.